I started uh, kind of late for someone who wants to play pro basketball. I started at 12, but I absolutely fell in love with the game from the very first time that I played. Uh, and then from there, I did pretty well in high school. I uh, played college basketball. I started at the University of New Mexico. Then I transferred over to Temple University. I also played two years of basketball in Sweden before becoming a Harlem Globetrotter. Um, but I feel like, you know, all, all those things leading up to a Globetrotter really helped me shape who I am as a Globetrotter and helped me uh, become, you know, as successful as I am with the Harlem Globetrotters. So my basketball journey started in Reading, Pennsylvania. Uh, I fell in love with the game at the age of four years old, uh, waking up, you know, Christmas morning to a Fisher Price hoop and a basketball, and I instantly fell in love with the game. You know, I continued on to play in high school here in, in Georgia, um, where I excelled, you know, ninth grade being on varsity, and my career kind of just, my young career kind of like took off. Um, I earned a scholarship to attend Iowa Western Community College in Council Bluffs, Iowa, um, where I was inducted to the Hall of Fame two years ago, and then um, earned a scholarship to play at Purdue University. So, and after Purdue, I got an invite to try out for the WNBA team, Indiana Fever. So that's kind of like my journey pre, you know, Harlem Globetrotters. For me, I, I always looked at it like it was so entertaining. Um, I was like, wow, you know, me naturally being a street baller with a little bit of pizzazz and flair to my game, I was instantly drawn to it. You know, I didn't know it was the Harlem Globetrotters. I just knew it was entertainment. And, um, you know, the role it played in the black community was significant. You know, everybody wanted to be a Globetrotter, whether they knew you know, the name, they wanted to play like that. It was flashy, you know, it was exciting. It was, enter it was entertaining. Um, so yeah, the Glow Charters were, you know, a huge impact on the way, you know, African-Americans played the game, you know, with pizzazz and flair and flashy and confidence. Well, I think the Glow Charters have always been a, a, a very uniting entity in terms of, you know, bringing that entertainment aspect to sports and sports in itself is something that brings people together. So the Globe Charters, I feel like really had a good combination of entertainment and sports that brought people together and helped people to forget about their woes, at least for a little while. Um, especially in the African-American community, I feel like the Globe Charters was something that, you know, African-Americans could be proud of, you know, touring around the world, bringing people together. Um, and that's, at the end of the day, that's that's all we all want. We want people to come together. And I feel like the Globe Charters help that. African-American woman representing the Harlem Globe Charters means a, a great deal to me. I feel very fortunate to be able to, you know, be the one that represents us in this particular role. And I try to do it at a high, you know, a high level. And I try to do it with dignity and, you know, and um, and pride. So, you know, I get, to, I, I'm the one who gets a, the opportunity to encourage little girls that you can be anything that you want to be, no matter how strange it sounds or how far out there it sounds, because I never in a million years thought I'd be a Harlem Globetrotter, you know, but I, I, I stayed to it. I worked hard. I kept my integrity up. And I did everything as, as hard as I could. And look where it landed me. I'm almost lost at a work. You know, it's it's an honor to be an African-American woman playing with the Globe Charters, um, especially when you think of the long list of women who came before me. I mean, you, you, you Google Lynette Woodard. I mean, she's all American, everything, Olympic, everything. You know, a beautiful woman inside and out, but definitely talented. Um, to be able to inspire young girls to live their dream um, is is an honor. I wake up every morning tremendously blessed to be able to be in the position that I am to inspire the next women um, who who want to be globe charters, who just want to do what they love, you know. <laughs>